15-day gap in the league programme, Villa were at home again. This time it was Wimbledon who were the visitors, bringing with them a formidable record of 19 games unbeaten. Echio. We've seen all of the uh, central defenders in advanced positions. Milosevic. This is Draper. Echiog. For Milosevic to head it back. Or oh, Robbie Earl could have been trouble with Dwight York. But no. Robbie Earl's got out of jail, Martin. Robbie Earl has got out of jail. Will Joslin raised the flag. Ooh. York is in the clear. And this time the goal will count. And Wimbledon have ruined a lot of good defensive work. Whether they lost their concentration at the earlier incident, who knows? Well, it's a cardinal sin if you're a defender. You just can't come and play a plane from that high up the pitch. Well, look at Dwight York's position. And Kenny Cunningham just tries to turn that back. It's never reaching Neil Sullivan. That's a great finish. It's a reward for Dwight York. Through the legs, I guess, yeah. It's a good place when you're one against one to look for. And against a goalkeeper who's going to spread himself. You watch it as he comes out. He's very cool, Dwight York. The pitch is spot, there's no way the goalkeeper can save that. A little bit of justice there, I feel. I was just going to say, Martin, with this unbeaten record, that the one thing you'd worry about, if I was joking here, would be that my, my team are concentrating on not losing games rather than winning them. I think when you get in a run like this, that can happen. That has got to go across. Oh, well, he didn't get there, Milosevic. And it's two for Villa. Well, that is the kind of finish that he can produce. Super cool and super efficient. But yet again, you would wonder whether the defender could have done better. Could he have seen this out? Could he have just cleaned everything out as he gets a I And mean, he lets it run across the face of him. But from then on, it was a really, really cool finish from Savo Milosevic. He goes on to his left side. He's not thinking about using his right foot here. The outside of the left foot is what he's confident with. It's what he's assured with. And that's a big five minutes in this game for Aston Villa. Staunton. It's a little bit risky. Villa don't want to be uh, falling into the trap that Wimbledon uh, collapsed into towards the end of the first half. And they made mistakes which at this level were fully punished. Right. Your anticipating where Staunton was going to continue his run to. That's a magnificent cross, and it's led to a goal from Ian Taylor. Milosevic came in at the far post, but Taylor turned it over the line. Well, this is all about Steve Staunton. This is as good a cross as you'd ever likely to see. And that's why I say he's, I think it's so much Mark when he plays this left side, because he can do this. Look at the run he makes. He's not involved at all now, but look, he's running away from goal. He's got a player in front of him. And I tell you, there are not many players playing at this level that can do that. Whether he's regarded as being offside, I don't know how far in is Taylor. Is that header comes in there, that shot? Then he becomes active, I don't know. But certainly, he's right in and around the six-yard box. But that was a brilliant break. York. They really want to rub Wimbledon's noses in it. Townsend. Draper. And he'd like to get a goal. Yeah, they all would. The game's won at 3-0. I think they know that. Now. So they're playing with a freedom and a confidence now. I think the game's won and they can only score more. I don't think they can lose this game. This was always swerving away. It's always just calling the wrong side of the post. But the passing movement was good. York is involved in everything at the moment. Taylor, Aston Villa through and through. Grew up watching uh, the club as a boy. Milosevic. 
He might be feeling a lot better having got a goal for himself in the first half. Draper. Oh, and hesitation, and the ball's in. But the flag is up. Well, it would have been down as an own goal. Unless Dwight York's offside from the flick on from the header. As the ball was played in. Now watch Dwight York. He's right in the bottom. Now, as this ball's turned back, is he offside as the ball comes in now? Well, I think he might just be ahead of play. Certainly would have been down as an own goal from Neil Hadley. This is Townsend. And Milosevic. Four. Deflected. No chance for Sullivan in the end. Milosevic happy to take the bow. And it's all going Aston Villa's way. Yeah, runners from midfield have been allowed to run. It's all fell up. We look at Andy Townsend appear on the scene. I'm not so sure he's passing that to Milosevic. I'm not so sure that they have gone in. But it's on target. It's Milosevic's goal. It's his second of the match. It's Villa's fourth. Yes, it bounced from uh, Blackwell's challenge beyond the despairing Sullivan. And the wheels are well and truly coming off Wimbledon now. is denied a hat-trick and uh, we must have another look at that one well the linesman's on the way back from being on the line you see the linesman right at the top now he's right on the line he's still on the line now he starts to move i don't think milosevic is off i have to say and i don't think the linesman's smack in line either because he's moving from being on the byline to trying to get out in line with the last defender so i think there are one or two that uh, i'll give us a chance to look at later York. But they're still hungry for more. It is five. Dwight York. Well, it's truly festive stuff from Brian Little and his players here. And what a time to do it, Earl Mark. I think this is right on cue, this performance from Aston Villa. Look at York again, pulled behind the defender, and in in front he goes. That's wonderful stuff if you're a front man. He doesn't quite get it right, but he doesn't need to. All you need to do in that is get it on target, across the goalkeeper, and you've always got a chance. But it's his movement that's so impressive here. To lose a defender, that's the great stuff. And how strange that we've had two goals disallowed controversially, and within seconds, Aston Villa have uh, put them aside and got in legitimate goals. Two years ago, we actually beat Wimbledon seven and then had a, a period where nothing seemed to go right for us and uh, it wasn't long after that, uh, that victory that we started to remind ourselves again of, of uh, how difficult a period we had afterwards.